everyone, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and you're watching Maker Mornings with Meg. Today's card uses a different stamp set, so one that I haven't shown you guys before and now of course I'm looking around and I couldn't find it for a minute. Um, but it is part of a suite that is probably, like as a bright color person, one of my very favorite suites in the catalog. So stamp set is called Gorgeously Made and it has a set of dies that has some terrific possibilities. I'm gonna show you some ideas for them today. And it's part of the Masterfully Made Suite, which here is, let's see, it's on page 102, and it has our paper here on 103, but as uh, as everyone knows, like the most common thing to say is, oh my gosh, that paper is so pretty. It's even prettier in person or on video <laughs> compared to what you saw in the book. So I'm gonna show you the papers. Here they are. They are actually done by, um, an artist at Stampin' Up actually spent the time to tear all those little tiny pieces of paper and make these collages. Um, there's some painting ones too. Here's another one of the painted collages. And then this is another paper um, assembly collage. And then the backs of these papers. I'm not showing you one because uh, here's the back side, wrong direction, Meg, um, because we're gonna use it on our cards. So here, I'll pull that one out. So gorgeous colors and then there is the back side of it so again um it's kind of a meta paper it's got the paper piecing of the actual paper printed on the paper so whatever whatever that's gonna do but anyway um as i was looking through i thought you know what i really want to make something beautiful with this that really shows off the paper so sometimes when i'm feeling like it I don't know what I'm gonna make. Um, I will flip through and find an example in the book that I can copy. So casing is copy and share everything. Um, some people say copy and selectively edit, as my friend Julie says. Uh, but either way, you take an idea and then you make it your own. So I'm going to um, start off here. I'm gonna flip our camera down and I'll show you the, the idea that I found. So this is the idea here. It's on page 57 in the book and it goes with this little dreamers bundle. Uh, but it's this card right here, big love little baby. And the thing that I loved about this card is, um, so the one on the, the sort of um, Lost Lagoon one there on the left. Uh, the thing that I loved about it was the amount of designer series paper and then the dotted star background where you're kind of looking through. So as we, look at our die set. So here's the stamps for Gorgeously Made and here are the dies. We have these really pretty florals, um, which are great for all the collage ideas. We have these like torn edges, notebook edges, and this sort of torn paper, and then this little washi tape looking piece here. Um, but I kind of was wondering like, can I recreate that spotty um, background with one of these dies? So I'm gonna pull this floral um, leafy die here and let's take a look at what we've got um, for our pieces. So we're gonna come back to this here. Um, so I have here a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock, and of course you're gonna score it. <clears throat> when you cut this direction, you always wanna make sure you score your cardstock. And then I have this piece of the designer series paper. It's three inches wide so that I could get two out of the same piece of, um, I have mine down to six by six, but, um, out of a six inch wide piece, so you could get four out of the full 12 by 12 paper. And I should clarify, I showed you six by six. These are 12 by 12 papers. Um, these are just chopped down for my purposes. Uh, so they're full 12 by 12 sheets. And what I'm gonna do is take this and um, we're gonna just, we will attach this, but I'm gonna do some stamping first. But I wanted to kind of look at a horizontal element here and I wanted to repeat this um, piecing motif. So. Just like on that um, on that little baby card here, we have this horizontal part that goes across here and then some decorations up on the top of that. So we're gonna build that with our leaf die. So I'm gonna pop this across here and let's go ahead and die cut this. I've got my Stampin' Cut Emboss Mini here. Um, I just had a um, stamping get together with some uh, stampers the other night and we, um, well actually it was, uh, a little while ago at this point, but I took this with me and it was just the perfect size for um, our projects and easy to travel with. So I'm gonna set our die on here and I wanna make sure if you're remaking this card, um, if you're inspired to copy or to case my idea, um, make sure that your die doesn't go all the way up to the edge because it will make your life easier 
um, in the piecing part. So, and I promise that will make sense as we go. Now, when you're working with a mini, make sure that your plates are a little bit staggered at the end. It really doesn't like to crank all those things through exactly at the same point. So you can see here, like my plates were a little bit staggered here at the end. They're not all butted up straight. So make yourself, um, give your, do yourself a favor and do your mini a favor. Um, keep those a little staggered. All right, so I'm gonna take a look before I separate this from my die and make sure that this is cut through. And I feel like it's missing just a little bit in the center. So what I'm gonna do is put this in a slightly different place on my die and run this through again. Oh, I moved it, that's okay. All right, we're gonna, you can feel, usually you can feel it like slot down in there. And I'm gonna squeeze that together and we're gonna run this through again. Um, a lot of times when you have a die with this much surface area, especially on the mini where you're um, really using the whole roller bar inside that mini, um, sometimes you'll need to cut more than once. So not a big deal. And that looks pretty, yep, pretty well cut. Okay, I'm gonna not mess with it too much yet because uh, we're gonna, gonna use some of those extra pieces there. So um, let's take a look at this. I'm not gonna let this come apart yet, hopefully. Um, it's gonna fit across here, but I wanted to bring in um, some of the images from this stamp set um, for our background. I love this one here. It's actually like a print of the, um, like a notebook ring kind of thing. So I'm gonna pull up my Melon Mambo and I have this one here uh, mounted on a block. And uh, the block is a little short for the stamp, but it's gonna work out okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this aside and go ahead and stamp here, did I get it where I wanted? Nope. So I'm gonna stamp it again because I got it too far over. I'm gonna put it over to the right. There we go. Okay, that is a little closer, nah, but still not quite where I want it. So I'm gonna show you my trick when I mess up. I'm gonna fold that. So now it is on the inside of my card and we're gonna layer. So no one will ever know except everyone who watches this video. So don't tell anyone, uh, that's our secret. All right, let's see if we can get it right this time. Third time's the charm, so there we go for that. So now I have just that little bit sticking out this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and attach our piece here so that we've gotten this stuck down. But you know what? I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, to add as an extra interest for the inside of our card. So let's go ahead and pull this, and I'm gonna take just a smidge off of the edge. And there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to this pretty little scrap here um, and use that inside our card. All right, so we'll go ahead and attach this on the front. Uh, I always hate covering up pretty papers like this one on the back, what can I do? Um, and then I'm going to attach this here on the front. Okay, plus now my, paper, my little ring um, piece shows a little bit more on the side. All right, so now let's come back to this fun um, pumpkin pie piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these elements out and I'm gonna take a look at the parts, ta-da, like this, that come out, of our, um, come out of our card. And this one is going to go down here towards the bottom. And let's see, the rest of this is all one piece. I think this piece right here is gonna pop out. So what I wanna do, I'm not gonna worry about the teeny ones, um, but I am going to try to get our biggest pieces uh, and hang on to them so that I can pop them back into our design. So we have this one here, and we have this one here, and we have this one kind of finishing off the flowers down here. All right, you guys kind of see how that works? Let's zoom in just a tad bit. Mm, there we go, all right. So now we have um, those pieces kind of set up. Uh, now I really want to have kind of a nice vertical um, element to this where we have some shadow space. So I'm actually gonna take this and raise it up. So let me grab some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm gonna pop um, more of these on than I usually do because I want our elements to have some good relief here. And I wonder if I can get a mini in there somewhere. Let's see. I might pop maybe one more in here. I know you're like, oh my gosh, Meg, that's so many dimensionals for you. It's true, it's true. 
Uh, let me grab a mini and we'll see. Maybe we can get like a mini. No, nope, it's too big. Okay, we get half of a mini. Let's see. We're getting a little silly now. Maybe not worth the effort. You will have to decide. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Is it worth the effort or should I just leave this part flat? All right. So now I've got all these dimensionals on. I need to pull all the backing pieces. And then we're going to go ahead and flip this over. So when I stick this down, um, I'm going to slot those um, scrap pieces that we cut away. I'm gonna slot them back in. So it's okay if I don't get them exactly in the right place now because we can come back and move them. All right, as long as I don't glue them with a Stampin' Dimensional. <laughs> There we go. All right, so now you see how that's popped up. And then I'm gonna take our liquid glue again. So always good for little tiny scrappy pieces. And I'm gonna pop these back into our, um, back into our shape, plus or minus here. I guess I don't remember, there we go. Couldn't remember where that one went. And the trick about this is making sure that you keep them facing the same direction so they're not, um, so they're not gonna, uh, well, they won't fit if you make them upside down. Speaking of which, usually you can see by looking at them which side is the upside. And then I'm gonna put this in here because that straight line kind of finishes off the bottom of our piece, okay? So you see we've kind of recreated that and added some sort of fun collage thing. Um, but I don't want anyone to look too closely at this. So let's look at our die set. And I think that this die here would be a pretty one to go ahead and pop across uh, that to just add another layer and some extra interest and um, sort of decorate the front of our piece. So I've got a piece of wild wheat here, which is echoed in the designer series paper. And through the magic of television, I have our die cut piece all already cut out. And to attach this, I'm gonna go ahead and use some multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm not gonna put a ton on there uh, because I just really need to attach a few points on here. It doesn't have to be everywhere, okay? And now while this is grabbing, because remember the multi-purpose liquid glue doesn't grab instantly, um, it takes a second. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a couple blocks on there just to hold that in place. Now let's look at our greetings. We have you're a great friend, thank you, and hello. So I think I'm gonna go with hello, which is the most, um, I guess the simplest version of this, just a fun all-purpose card. And I'm gonna go um, bring in a piece here of really light, bright yellow. This is the, uh, what's this color called? It's one of the new ones. It is called Lemon Lolly. And I like it because it's really gonna make our greeting pop. So I'm gonna grab just this little simple hello here. And we're gonna use one more die from our package. We're gonna use this um, die here. And through the magic of television, I have it already die cut. Now, usually I would stamp first and then attach, but I think we're good. It's a little crooked. I'm gonna try one more time on the other side and see um, if I can get it a little straighter. That was worse, not better. Look, this one looks great to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this piece now and we are going to pop this up on Stampin' Dimensionals. And we'll just cover up that little bit on the back. And um, as always, if you're like, oh my gosh, these things are so pretty, um, the supply list is on the video description so you can get that. Um, and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and decorate the front of our card a little bit more. We need some kind of bling and some extra accessories. And this is where um, the uh, essential baker's twine comes in handy with the white baker's twine here. And this really um, just called for a bright white bow to me. So if you look at the samples in the book, um, there are some really pretty bows tied on some of them. And so we're gonna go ahead and pop this on here. And I'm gonna use, um, usually I'd use mini glue dots because they're uh, my favorite way to attach these, make little burritos out of them. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on here with some liquid glue and then stick this down. Now, the other thing that's included in this suite for these um, stamp dies and paper are these really pretty um, sequin, sequin trio. And so I'm gonna pull these and I think just kind of like our white, um, our white piece here, I think we're gonna go with a white um, sequin layer. So let's go ahead and pull our sequins and I'm gonna pop um, 
I like to do usually threes of things when I'm doing uh, little decor pieces. So I'm gonna put a couple of them down here near our greeting. Remember, our um, sequins are going to highlight our focal point. Um, and then I'm gonna put kind of one down here so that we have a cool like triangle thing going here with our hello and our um, pieces up there. So, all right, remember to open your packages from the side because it's so much easier to get them in and out without having to um, struggle with that little uh, <laughs> that little adhesive flap that's on the back there. So much easier to do the side open. All right, and now for the inside of our card, um, we have all these gorgeous collage stamps. So we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of some of those. And for the inside of our card, I wanna go ahead and use um, this big uh, floral element here, big leaf element. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up in Melon Mambo. So we're echoing the colors from the front of our card. And let's see, do I have a piece of scrap paper handy? I do, here's a little um, Stampin' Dimensional edging. So remember when you do this though, um, if you're using the edges of a Stampin' or the base from a Stampin' Dimensional, it's gonna leave kind of a shadow um, of ink behind. So you're gonna wanna make sure you watch where you're putting that because that is still gonna be wet, okay. And then I'm gonna use this fun um, collage -y, um, text image here and add some text over the top. And then remember this little friend here with these fun pieces? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clip these and add this insider card too. So I'm gonna pop just a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of this, um, kind of a couple places, it doesn't need to be everywhere, and pop that on. And then if you want to, um, we even have this piece right here. Now I'm using this straight edge here um, to be highlighted by the straight edge of our card. So I'm gonna pop this on like this and add this to the top of our card. All right, now if we want to, um, so we've, we've used a lot of space in here. So this one would be a, like you don't have to write a lot inside this card kind of card. Um, but I wanna go ahead and use this strip here of the um, designer series paper and I'm gonna do this first and our white layers size to fit inside our card, but this one um, is awfully pretty and I'm gonna pop it down the edge here. And then when I put our basic white layer in, remember leave a little place for your finger so you can hang on to, hang on to it when you're popping it in. Um, I'm gonna leave that there on the edge. And so now we have um, that extra designer series paper echoed there on the inside of our card. Okay. So there we have our finished, um, very pretty, marvelously made, and based on that card here from the um, Little Dreamers bundle. So kind of show you these together. So there are our two um, ideas. So really, instead of using the whole background as designer series paper, I made a little narrower, um, but we use that same background there with a the cutaway cardstock, um, and then kind of decorated up that layer and so forth. So. So I hope that gives you guys some ideas for different ways to um, put your stamps and so forth together. Make sure you're using your book for um, ideas and inspiration. And uh, I'm, I also hope that you're really excited about these gorgeous papers. Those are the little scraps there from after I um, used that other piece. But absolutely beautiful saturated colors and a really great way um, to do some fun collaging when the paper background is already collaged for you. So. All right, guys, happy stamping. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and uh, I will look forward to seeing you again on Maker Mornings with Meg, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30 in the morning uh, Central Time on Facebook Live, and also reposted later on YouTube and my loveandstamps.com blog. So thanks, guys. Have a great day.